In this video, we will do some College Board multiple choice questions pertaining to sine, cosine, and tangent. This is AP Precalculus Topic 3.2. If you appreciate this content, please give it a like. Number 1. The figure gives four points and some corresponding rays in the xy plane. Which of the following is true? Option A refers to angle COB, so I have highlighted that angle. It goes from C to O to B. That's how you know you're looking at angle COB. Option A says that angle COB is in standard position with an initial ray OB and terminal ray OC. Angle COB is in standard position because it does have its vertex at the origin and it has one side on the positive x-axis. However, the side of the angle on the positive x-axis is the initial ray, and the other side is the terminal ray. So, option A is backwards. It says the initial ray is OB, but the initial ray is OC, and the terminal ray is OB. That's why the answer is B. Angle COB is in standard position with initial ray OC and terminal ray OB. Number 2. The figure gives an angle in standard position with measure 0.687 pi and a circle with radius 3 in the xy plane. What is the length of the minor arc of the circle from point C to point B? The arc subtended by the angle. They are asking us for the length of this arc right here. Let's call it L for length. We have learned that the angle measure in radians is equal to the arc length divided by the radius. The angle is 0 0.687 pi and the radius is 3. So this formula becomes 0 0.687 pi is equal to the arc length divided by 3. We can get the arc length by itself by multiplying both sides by 3. So that leaves us with the arc length is equal to 3 times 0 0.687 pi. This problem is calculator active, so we can simply put this expression in the calculator. So that was 3 times 0 0.687 pi. 6.475. They will probably round. So the answer is C. Number 3. The figure gives a circle of radius 4.8 in the xy plane with center at the origin an angle alpha in standard position, and three labeled points. Which of the following is the value of sine alpha? Hopefully you have memorized these three formulas. They are asking us for the value of sine alpha, so we're going to use the first formula. Sine alpha is going to equal the y value, which is 4.3, divided by the radius, and we are told that the radius is 4.8. So that's it. The answer is B. Number four, in the xy plane, angle BAC is an angle in standard position with terminal ray AC, which intersects the unit circle at the point with coordinates 0 0.4 comma negative 0.9. Which of the following descriptions is correct? Let's draw a sketch. First of all, here's a circle with this point 0 0.4 comma negative 0 0.9 showing. The angle BAC is in standard position, so one side must be on the positive x-axis, and the vertex has to be at the origin. We are also told that the terminal ray AC intersects the unit circle at this point. So I've drawn the other side, the terminal ray, through this point, and this is AC. Hopefully you have memorized 
that if the terminal ray passes through the point x comma y, the tangent of the angle is y over x. So in this case, the tangent of, and I'm just going to call this angle theta, the tangent of angle theta is negative 0 0.9 over 0 0.4. We have also learned that the tangent is the slope of the terminal side. So this must equal the slope of the terminal side AC. So which one of these options matches what we just said? If you multiply the numerator and denominator by 10, you get negative 9 over 4. So the tangent is equal to negative 9 over 4, and the slope is given by the tangent. So that will also be negative 9 over 4. That's why the answer is C. Number 5. An angle theta is in standard position in the xy plane. Which of the following is true about theta on the interval from 0 to 2 pi if tangent theta is equal to 1? We have learned that the tangent of theta is equal to the slope of the terminal ray. If the tangent of theta is equal to 1, that means the slope of the terminal ray has to be 1, like this. That means the terminal ray could be in the first quadrant, like this, at pi over 4, or it could be in the third quadrant, like this, at 5 pi over 4. Notice that the terminal ray could not be in the second quadrant or in the fourth quadrant because the slope would be negative 1. The tangent of theta would be negative 1. So the answer is B, quadrants 1 and 3 only. Number 6. The figure shows a unit circle in the xy plane, an angle alpha in standard position, and three labeled points. Which of the following is the value of cosine alpha. Hopefully at this point you have memorized the formulas for sine, cosine, and tangent. However, we are talking about a unit circle. And on the unit circle, the radius is 1. So let's replace these r's with the number 1. However, y over 1 is just y, and x over 1 is just x. This is why the unit circle is such a convenient tool to use, because on the unit circle, the sine of theta is simply the y value of the point, and the cosine of theta is just the x value. We were asked to find the value of the cosine of alpha. That will simply be the x value of the point. So the answer is A, negative 0.8. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, but also if you found this video helpful, there's a lot more where that came from. You can click the upper link, which will take you to the whole unit playlist, or you can click the lower link, which will take you to the next video in the playlist. See you there.